Welcome to another episode of the Daytona Coupe uh, Factory 5 build process. So in today's episode, we're going to paint this um, differential. So this came out of a 2018 GT350 Mustang. It's got the 373 gears, the Torsen. Uh, it was actually in pretty good shape. Someone had painted it before, it looked like, but I'm not sure. But uh, all the gears look good, took it apart, cleaned it up well. So we're kind of going to show you the paint process. We're going to shoot a uh, two-stage uh, base coat black with clear coat over the top and then we're actually going to paint the rear cover white after this dries and uh, hardens for a day or two then we can pull the cover back cover off prep it uh, shoot some zinc chromate primer on there and paint it so stay tuned so we wiped the entire thing down with uh, with acetone really well so now I'm just going to tack it off to get any little loose little bits of paper towel or rags and I can see some already being pulled apart so I'm gonna get this kind of prepped up pretty quick so pretty good right there so then sorry about that so now we're gonna take you on over and we're gonna mix the paint so here's what we've got for paint Hope you can see that. Okay, so here we've got uh, it's an Omni Ford America. So we're gonna put about two ounces, I'm guessing. The nice thing with this base coat is if we have any issues with the base coat, if we overmix too much, we can uh, always throw it back in the can because there is no hardener in there. So I'm just going to throw two ounces in here. Not a lot. So we got two ounces of base. Ugh, I always make a mess with this crap. Put the lid back on that one. Two ounces base. And then we've got our reducer here. I think it's a medium. Yeah, medium reducer. So we're going to throw two ounces of medium reducer in here. And that should be more than enough to do what we're doing there. So I already got my compressor. Compressor's already turned on, ready to go. We're going to shoot it about... Uh, I'll clean my little small cups out I ever use these things. Put my lids back on so we don't spill anything, make a huge mess. Uh, grab a stir stick. Okay, so we're going to stir up our black. I know you're all going, where's his PPE? Where are they? What's going on? Where's the PPE? Oh, I'll get my respirator out in just a second here. As I said, we're using a touch-up gun, not a whole lot of overspray. Okay, as I said, we got a little touch-up gun, a little Devilbus. Just a little cheapy thing. We're not painting the whole vehicle, so I always make sure you strain the paint. way more than I'm going to need. Okay. Let's go grab my respirator. We'll take you over. We're going to cover you up some plastic. So I don't know what the video is going to do. We'll find out. Okay. So now we're going to go. I don't know if you can how well you can hear me. So I'm going to set up my gun pressure. So I'm setting about 25, about 25 PSI um, at the regulator, so probably 22, 23 at the gun. Uh, I'm going to put plastic over the camera. So I don't know how this is going to work here, we'll see. It could be, good. It could be really bad. 
this just keeps any overspray off the camera. So we're going to do a really light flash first. So what we did is we put a really light uh, tack coat on there. What that does is I kind of always do a really light coat first. That way if any greases or oils, it kind of traps them and you don't get uh, fish eyes and other issues. Works for me. I always said my first coat's always extremely light. I let it dry, let it flash off, make sure all the solvents are out. And now I'll go back through after a few minutes and put a heavier medium coat on. Uh, and then probably two more coats and then let it dry, then clear it. Okay, so we've got uh, two coats of black on, as you can see. Looks pretty good. We'll let that dry for a little while and then we'll come back and we'll clear it. So. So I'll give that maybe 10, 15 minutes uh, to dry and uh, get all the solvents out. We'll come back, mix up a couple ounces of clear, clear it and we'll be done. Okay, so now we're gonna mix up some clear. Um, we're pretty much going to do the same thing, except clear is mixed 4 to 1 instead of 50-50. So I think I'm going to do 2 ounces, well, maybe 4 ounces of clear. Because the problem with clear is you can't put it back into the can because it's got a, a hardener or an activator, whatever you want to call it. So I think we're going to do... We'll do 4 ounces of clear, 1 ounce of hardener, and call it done. Ooh, a little piece of dirt in that one. I'll filter that one out. Okay, so we've got four ounces of clear. Put that back on my can. We're almost out of that, so I'm going to have to order some more of that. And then, oh, I can't get this thing open. Throw one ounce. Way more than I need for this. Way more than I need, but easy ratio. Burn up a little bit, waste a little bit, not much. I got my little one ounce cup. Okay, so now I'll stir this up, so I use the, use the other side. Stir, stir, stir. Okay. Now we'll put our filter over the top. Especially I know for sure we got a little bit of something in that clear. Way more clear than I really need. Okay. 
We shoot the same pressure as the base. So we're gonna bring the camera and we're gonna bring our spray gun back to our bench where our differential is. So you can see it's all ready to go. Okay. So we're gonna put our plastic bag over the top of the camera so we don't get crap on it. We're gonna do the same thing. We want really light, light coat, kind of flash it in. Same thing. Okay, so just a quick little flash coat. Let's let that tack up for a little while. Good 10-15 uh, minutes. And then we'll uh, come back for coat on. Okay, so we got another little light tack coat on. So we're gonna throw one more, uh, probably two more coats on. This one will be a little bit heavier. The plastic bag in my camera again. Don't want to ruin the camera. So this one's gonna be a little bit heavier. We got the last coat of clear on. As you can see, looks pretty good, pretty glossy, pretty shiny. Uh, you know, for a textured cast uh, surface. So I said, we'll let this dry, and then we will uh, we'll pull the rear cover off. Once this gets dry for a couple of days, we'll paint it white, and uh, it should be gorgeous. Yeah, it should be nice. That's the way you paint a differential.